Welcome to the dawn of a new era in technology. This is more than just an update. It's not just a tweak, a patch, or a new version number. What you're about to witness is the beginning of something monumental, a shift in the way we interact with the digital world. The beginning of a future where technology doesn't just assist us. One billion Android users. Yes, you heard that right. One billion people from every corner of the globe are considering switching to a new operating system. Think about that for a second. A billion people, and they're asking themselves, what if there was a better way? So what's the catalyst for this seismic shift? What could possibly have the power, the innovation, and the appeal to convince such a vast number of users to make a massive change? The answer is simple. It's called Harmony OS 2025. This is not your typical tech update. This is not another flash-in-the-pan trend that will fade into obscurity. What we're witnessing here is a paradigm shift in how we experience the world through technology. Harmony OS isn't just an operating system. It's a new way of living with the digital world. The journey to Harmony OS's prominence didn't happen overnight. It wasn't just thrown together because of a lack of options. It was forged in the fire of adversity, designed out of necessity, and executed with a vision of a connected future. Born out of the geopolitical pressures on Huawei, Harmony OS was initially dismissed as a backup plan, something temporary until things blew over. But anyone who's been paying attention knows Huawei wasn't just reacting, they were anticipating. From day one, Harmony OS wasn't designed to compete with existing operating systems. It was designed to evolve beyond them, it wasn't just built for smartphones, it was built for everything, from your watch to your car, your fridge to your TV. This is an ecosystem where everything works together, fluidly, without barriers, no fragmentation, no incompatibility, just pure, seamless interaction. Imagine a world where your devices are no longer islands. Harmony OS creates a unified experience that goes beyond syncing. It creates integration. Your phone talks to your tablet, your tablet talks to your laptop, and your laptop talks to your home. The experience is so cohesive it feels like your devices aren't just connected, they're alive, learning and evolving with you. It all started in 2019. When Huawei introduced Harmony OS to the world, most people scoffed. It was too soon, too ambitious. But that's the thing about visionaries. They don't wait for the world to catch up. They build what's next. And in this case, what was built wasn't just an operating system, it was the framework for the future. By 2021, Harmony OS had expanded beyond IoT devices and moved into smartphones and tablets. This was when people began to realize this wasn't just another operating system. Harmony OS wasn't about running apps. It was about rethinking how those apps coexisted. And the real magic? It was in the fluidity, the simplicity of it all. With Harmony OS, you could control multiple devices at once, through a single, unified interface. This wasn't just convenient, it was revolutionary. By 2023, the momentum was undeniable. Huawei had established global partnerships with major brands, and Harmony OS began to show up in third-party products. This expansion was key to its success. It wasn't just Huawei devices running Harmony OS anymore, it was everywhere. And by the end of 2023, over 700 million active devices were running Harmony OS. That number continues to climb as more users embrace the power of an interconnected world. Fast forward to today, 2025. The tipping point has been reached. Harmony OS is not just another competitor in the tech space, it's a dominant force in shaping the future of how we experience technology. With advancements in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and cloud computing, Harmony OS 2025 represents the culmination of years of relentless innovation. And what's the result of all this innovation? More and more Android users are taking a hard look at their devices and wondering, is it time for a change? So why are so many users considering the switch to Harmony OS? What exactly makes this operating system stand out from the pack? To understand that, let's look at some of the features that are driving the wave of interest. First, it's all about seamless multi-data integration. Harmony OS isn't about connecting your devices. It's about making them work together in a way that's as natural as breathing. Imagine you're driving home from work, listening to a podcast on your phone. You get into your car, and the audio picks up right where you left off, automatically syncing to your car stereo. You get home, 
and the system knows it's time to turn on your lights and adjust the temperature based on your preferences, all without you lifting a finger. This level of connectivity isn't just rare, it's unheard of in ecosystems like Android and iOS, which are often fragmented and inconsistent. Harmony OS is designed for the world of today and tomorrow, where everything just works together. Second, we're living in an age where privacy and security are paramount. Data breaches, tracking, and surveillance are daily headlines, and yet the systems we rely on still collect and sell our data. But Harmony OS? It's built with user sovereignty at its core. It uses advanced encryption and decentralized storage to ensure your personal data stays personal. And with features like Privacy Shield, you can monitor and manage app permissions in real time. If an app tries to access sensitive data without your permission, you get an alert. You can revoke access with a single tap. Your data is yours to protect. And Harmony OS makes sure it stays that way. Speed is another area where Harmony OS truly excels. Thanks to its microkernel architecture, it's lean, fast, and efficient. Apps open instantly, battery life is extended without sacrificing performance, and multitasking, it's smoother than ever. Recent independent tests have shown that Harmony OS outperforms both Android and iOS in overall responsiveness and resource management. That kind of performance isn't just nice to have, it's essential for today's users. Then, there's the AI-powered personalization. Imagine an OS that learns your habits, your preferences, your routines, and then makes your life easier. That's what Harmony OS does. It gets smarter every day, suggesting things you need before you even realize you need them. It helps automate your tasks from ordering your morning coffee to reminding you of important deadlines. These aren't just nice features. They're quality of life improvements that redefine how you interact with your devices. But let's not kid ourselves. Every revolution faces its hurdles. Harmony OS has a few challenges to overcome. For one, the app ecosystem, while growing rapidly, still has a long way to go before it matches the sheer volume of apps available on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Developers need time to adapt, and convincing them to invest in a new platform takes effort. And there's also the issue of perception. Harmony OS is still viewed with skepticism in some parts of the world, primarily due to its association with Huawei and the political landscape. Some users worry about censorship, surveillance, or state control. But as with any new technology, these perceptions will shift over time, especially as more users experience the benefits of the platform firsthand. Finally, there's the competition. Android and iOS have years of brand loyalty behind them. Switching isn't easy, even if the alternative is objectively better. But just like with electric vehicles or private space travel, the world has a funny way of embracing the new when it's done right. Looking ahead, the future of Harmony OS is as bright as the vision that created it. The success of Harmony OS depends on continued innovation, strategic partnerships, and most importantly, listening to the needs of users. If Huawei can keep the momentum going, if they continue pushing the envelope on AI, security, performance, there's no reason why Harmony OS won't become the default operating system for billions of users around the world. This isn't just a tech update. This is the future unfolding in real time, and you're here to witness it. If you're ready to embrace what comes next, to be part of a revolution that's shaping our world, don't just stand by. Engage. Share this with others who see the potential in what's next. Because the revolution, it's not coming. It's here and it's running on Harmony OS. The future doesn't just happen, it's built by those who dare to think bigger, aim higher, and build for tomorrow.